The Shield are one of the greatest and most dominant factions in the history of WWE. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can get The Shield in WWE 2K23. So first things first, you're going to want to get yourself The Shield characters and from the main menu, scroll over to the online tab and then down to community creations and downloads. From here, you wanna select superstar and then bring up the search menu. And once you've brought up the search, you wanna go down and put a custom hashtag in. So we go hashtag one, and then you wanna select my hashtags and type in shield. Once that's typed in, press enter and then select search on that custom hashtag and it's going to bring these up. Now, I recommend then you go across to either most downloaded or most upvoted because it's going to give you a better idea than most recent. And there we have the most downloaded shield characters. So we think these are probably going to be the best ones if they're the most downloaded. Now, Seth and Roman are both already in the game, although they're not in the game with their shield attires. So you are going to want to download those two as well as Ambrose. So this is the Seth that I recommend. You can see the details there on screen but you see Seth's got his attire and he's got the blonde streak in his hair which is what we want. Then for Roman Reigns this is the one I recommend. I'll just pull it up here so you can see the details on the screen and there you see Roman Reigns in his uh, jacket, his shield attire. So Rollins and Roman both already in the game, as I said. So whichever one of those you download, it should be fine. But those are the two I recommend. Now with Ambrose, there are quite a lot of John Moxley's in the game, but what you really want is Dean Ambrose, not John Moxley. Because say, if I pull up this John Moxley for a second, you can see it's John Moxley and it's John Moxley's attire. So it's not like the Dean Ambrose shield attire that you're wanting. So rather than downloading a John Moxley, I recommend you look for a shield Dean Ambrose and this is the one that I recommend so let me just pull this one up here and there you see Moxley or Ambrose uh, with a bit more of a WWE look there which is what we want that second attire there in the shield outfit that is what we want so I recommend this is the one you download there are other ones you can download of course you have some flexibility over here it is up to you like this one this is not a bad looking Ambrose actually and he does have the shield attire so if you wanted you could maybe download this one instead but yeah now that we have downloaded Rollins Roman and Ambrose all in shield attires. There's one more step we need to do for Ambrose actually because this Ambrose the shield attire is in slot two we need to go and change the second attire to be his default attire so let's do that next. So backing out to the main menu and then you want to go across to options and to roster and then edit superstars and then you're going to want to find Dean Ambrose that you've downloaded so there we go Dean Ambrose and I've already done this to test it but what you're going to want this is going to say attire one and you're going to want to change it and select a tire two. So I already had it selected as a tire two because I changed it before recording. Yours will say a tire one. Then you want to go down and say that. Next thing you're going to want to do then from that same menu, you're going to want to go to edit teams and you're going to want to create a team. So press the R3 button. Then you want to name them. There we have it. Name that team The Shield. And then team announce. This is what the announcer is going to call them. If you go over to S, there actually is the shield. So that's exactly what you want, right? And then you can start adding in the characters. Quick way to find this is across the top. If you scroll over to custom characters, you can see the one you've downloaded. So let's add in Ambrose. Let's add in uh, Roman of uh, Rollins. And then let's also add in, uh, where is he? Roman Reigns as well. So there we have it. And then you can change it to be cheer, boo. We'll call it cheer because I think the shield, if they ever did come back, they'd be the ultimate baby faces. And then the rest of this you can leave as it is because we're going to go to a different menu now and change that. So we've created the shield. Now we need to set their entrance. So back out to this menu and then go across to the creations tab. And then you want to select entrance and victory. And then you want to go entrance team. And then scroll down to find the shield that you've just created. There they are. And you want to work on their tree. You can do it for tag as well, but the shield of a three man team. So you want to work on the trio entrance more than anything. All right, so here you see here in the background, that is the default entrance of the shield have. And I got to say, that isn't great for the shield, okay? Because they, well, first of all, they don't even come down the ramp. So we need to change this. So the first things first, let's work on the motion. And there is actually, again, a motion for the shield. So here we go, we select that. There we see the shield, but they're actually in the wrong order there because Roman is in the right place, but Ambrose and Rollins need to swap places because they are doing each other's taunts best. So let's go down to cast change and make sure they are in the right place. So we need to swap Ambrose 
with Rollins, which I think is this one. So let's try this now. Hopefully this is the correct order here. There we go, yeah. So you want Ambrose on the left, you want Rollins on the right, and you want Roman in the back, because they do the taunts, and the taunts just go with the superstar, right? So that is the correct order, so we will accept that, go back to this menu. For Titantron movie, a banner movie, um, for these you can put in Roman Reigns' graphics if you want, but I, um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of using Roman's graphics. Let me just demonstrate what it does look like if you do use them. So you see there on the entrance, you get the Roman Reigns. I mean, it's okay, you can do that if you want, but I think actually having no uh, graphics at all looks better for the shield. So I got rid of a tighter Tron for now. The next thing we want to do is give them some entrance music. Now, obviously the shield music isn't in the game. If you wanted to give it some real life music, you could give it Rollins's theme, which would work kind of well. It's also a banger. I don't think Roman Reigns' entrance music would work with it. But there are actually some custom themes you can pick from, and I've been through these to work out what I think would go best with the shield, and I recommend... I recommend recommend this one here called Blast 4. So what I'm going to do for a second is mute my mic and turn the game volume up so you can hear it. Okay, so let me select that and then we will preview it. So yeah, that is the most shield sounding entrance theme I can find. I know it's not perfect, but it's as close as I can get it. There are some other ones, okay? You can be a bit flexible here and pick the one you prefer. There are some other ones I think you could use instead. This one here, Dark Superhero, I don't think is too bad. So let's try this one so you can see what this sounds like. So yeah, that one's not too bad. Or the other one you could use, I think, is Hardcore Free. So let's try this one out. So yeah, again, that one's sounding a little bit like The Shield. I know it's not ideal, but The Shield's music isn't in the game. Back when Roman used to use The Shield entrance himself, it used to be okay. But for 2K23, we're going to have to make do with one that sounds kind of similar. So I'm going to go back with the first one I showed you, which was Blast number four. I think that is probably the best out of all of them. That is how you create The Shield in WWE at 2K23. Go down and click Accept, and let's set up a six-man tag team to see this in action. The following is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 707 pounds, the Shield! So many memorable factions in the history of sports entertainment. If you ask me, this group could very well join that Mount Rushmore.
So there you have it. We now have the shield in WWE 2K23. Guys, I hope you have found this useful. If you have, be sure to smash a like button. Comment below. Let me know who your favorite member of the shield is. And I'll catch you again next time.